else do you see there? A water fountain. Mm -hmm. A water fountain. Baskets. Baskets. Let's grab those baskets. Kind of. They're hanging from the trees. Mm -hmm. Maybe fruit baskets. Mm -hmm. Look down and see what you're walking on. White stone. Mm. Can you see your feet? So as you float, let's keep floating through the scene and tell me everything that you see. Look around you. Do you see any structures? Mm -mm. No. Just the courtyard? Open grass. Open grass. The courtyards before the open grass. Mm -hmm. Take a look behind you. See what's behind you. I don't see anything. Maybe mm -hmm. the building. Mm -hmm. Standing in between the building and the courtyard. Okay. And the courtyard. Uh huh. What is the building made of? Maybe brick, like a brown brick. Mm -hmm. Do you? Feel any presence around you? Any people or animals? No. I don't think so. What emotions do you feel from this place? something is happening. Move forward and tell me when you're there. Do you see anything? No. All right. 
So let's go back to this elevator. I want you to imagine that the elevator where you came from now opens up in front of you and you can step back in. Press the button that closes the door and now select another floor where would you like to visit. the luxury of relaxing in that elevator and feel it going up, up, up to the 28th floor. And tell me when you get there. The elevator will slow down and stop at the floor you've picked. Now push the button that opens the door and tell me the first thing that you see. A little lady. A little lady. Mm -hmm. Describe this little lady for me. Short. Curly brown hair, short. Mm -hmm. Is she young or old? Middle aged. Mm -hmm. How little is she? Maybe four feet. Mm -hmm. How is she dressed? Connect with this little lady and ask her who she is. Grandma? Mm -hmm. Is that what you want her to call you? Does she want you to call her? I think. Mm -hmm. Ask Grandma if she's your guide. if she would be so nice to grant you the, to be a tour guide today and take you to the places where we need to find. Take Grandma's hand. And I'd like to ask Grandma to take you to the time where you knew Todd in a different lifetime. Walk with her and she will guide you. And tell me what happens next.
describe the scenery for me. Are you indoors or outdoors? It's like an outdoor hallway. Let's continue on that path. Tell me everything you see. like Is Grandma saying anything to you? Ask her where you're going. You'll be able to connect with her telepathic. What do you see on this path? Just walking a big green grass area. Mm -hmm. No, maybe she's giving me advice. Mm -hmm. So connect with her and ask her to put the thoughts in your mind. And tell me what she says. What are you picking up from her? So let's leave that scene behind. Leave that scene. And now we're going to go travel in time and space. We're traveling through time and space. To the time where you met Todd in a different lifetime. Travel through time. And tell me when you're there. Do you see?
black spot. Now this first thing I just look in my mind. Very good. You're doing very well. So let's look at that black spot and shine some light on it. And as you shine that light on it, tell me what happens. Say it moved. Mm -hmm. Keep shining the light on it. Tell me what happens. Is it avoiding you? I don't know. Do you still see it? It's almost like it moved. Mm -hmm. I'm going to count from three to one. And when I get to one, allow that black spot to express itself through you. Three. Let me speak with you. What are you doing in Melissa's reality? Hiding. Mm -hmm. Why are you hiding? Are you afraid? Afraid. Mm -hmm. Why are you hiding? Mm, why is that? They'll come for me. Mm. Who are they? The ones. Mm-hmm. Tell me more about them. Do they control you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about yourself. How long have you been hiding there? Where were you before you were with Melissa? Did you have a body? I don't know. I want you to go back in time, recall the last time that you remember being in a body. Were you ever in a body? Yes. Mm -hmm. What were you, a man or a woman? Do you recall what they called you in that life? Peter. 
Peter. Thank you, Peter, for that information. Peter, how old are you? Mm -hmm. 37. And where have you been hiding in Moses' body? Her chest. Her chest. Peter, do you recall what year it is for you? You said that you were hiding from the others. Who are these others? No ones that see. Who are these? Are they light beings or dark beings? The ones that see are light. Mm -hmm. Why are you afraid of them, Peter? figured out yet why it is that you're hiding. How did you die, Peter, in your last life? Hunted. You were hunted? Who hunted you? People. Mm -hmm. How old were you? Were you a young boy? Young man. Mm -hmm. Were they hunting you because you did something or for pleasure? Did you do something to them? No. Who were these men that hunted you? People in town. Mm -hmm. Where did you live, Peter? Did you do anything to deserve this from the townspeople? They wanted my horses. Mm. Did you have many horses? Yeah. Mm. So what happened, Peter? How did you die? rocks? Yeah, I was running. Mm -hmm. Did they ever catch you, Peter? No. So after you left that body, where did you go? Peter, why is it that you didn't go to the light? It's mad. You were mad? 
Mm-hmm. You're mad at the people who are chasing you? Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, Peter, this was a different lifetime, and now you're still hiding. That's no way to live, is there? Is there anyone that you loved when you were alive in that lifetime? My wife? Mm hmm. She never got to see you again, did she? No. Would you like to see her again, Peter? Yes. Mm-hmm. Did you have any children? Boy. Mm-hmm. Would you like to see him again? Yeah. You've been hiding all this time. It must hurt to be like this. Yes. Mm-hmm. Peter, being in Melissa's body, what have you caused her? fair for Melissa to feel that way because she always has to run. No. Mm-hmm. What else did you make her feel? To be mad. To be mad. Mm-hmm. So she was always angry? Yes. Mm-hmm. Would you like Melissa to forgive you for that? Let me speak with Melissa. Melissa, do you hear what Peter's been saying? Yeah. Uh, <coughs> yes. Would you like to let him go? Yes. Okay. All right, let me speak with Peter. Peter, are you ready to go to the light to be reunited with your family? So you don't have, don't have to run anymore? In the light, you will never be judged. You'll be able to see your family. You'll be greeted by those that will love you, will guide you. You can go to school again and come back as someone new with a fresh new life. Before you go, Peter, I'm going to put my hand on your chest. (coughs) And I want you to give me all of that sorrow so that I can send it up to the light. All of that fear being discovered, all of that anger that you had, knowing that those men didn't know any better. They didn't know that just because of some horses, they could ruin somebody's life. Forgive them, Peter, and give me all of that so I can send it to light. And tell me when my hand is full. Mm-hmm. You'll be with your wife again. Can you forgive them for that so that you can be relieved? You've made mistakes too, Peter. They made a mistake. Give me that feeling of sorrow. You'll soon be reunited with her. And you'll be feeling joyous. You ready for that? Yes. Let it go. And forgive them. Forgive them for their errors. I take that away and I send it up to the universe. Now, Peter, in that space that's left, what would you like to fill it with? Compassion. Lots of compassion. Let's fill that with compassion. What else? Love. Love. Mm-hmm. Love for everyone, huh? Mm-hmm. Anything else? Or do you feel complete? My horses. To be with them. 
and you want to be with your horses. Well, when you get to the light, let's look for your horses. All right? Are you ready to let go now? Yes. So, Peter, I want you to take all of the influence that you have in Melissa's body. Take it all by the roots. Pull it out. Grab it all and take it with you so that it, she will be healed. And now look around you, Peter, and you should see a circle of angels coming around you. Tell me when you see them. I see them. Wonderful. They're going to take you up to the light. And as you reach the light, you'll see Archangel Michael stretching his hand out to greet you. Tell me when you see his face. I see it. Mm -hmm. What is he telling you? Come on. Mm -hmm. And tell me who you see, Peter. My wife. Mm -hmm. Who else do you see? Holy my son. Look around you. Are there any horses there? How do you feel? I see my white horse. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful reunion, isn't it, Peter? Yes. So now rather than being a dark spot hiding in Melissa's body, I want you to take some of that light from the source and beam it down to Melissa and shoot that light and fill it with all of that beautiful feeling of love and peace and stability. Make her feel joyful with that light. Send it all into her. And tell me when you've totally sealed the area where you were affecting before. Tell me when you're done. Wonderful. Thank you, Peter. And now using your spiritual eyes, I'd like you to scan Melissa's body and tell me if there are any others that are hiding in her body. take my hands and I'm going to bring that energy up, 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 and it can now express itself. You there in the hands. How long have you been there? she when you found her. Teenager. A teenager. What were the circumstances in which you found her? So is 
Is this something that was mutual, that she allowed you to come in, or did you take advantage of her? I volunteered. Mm -hmm. What did you volunteer for? What did she need you for? female energy? Female. Female. And what may I call you? No name. No name? Can I call you no name? Sure. Mm -hmm. So no name, do you recall what was going on with Melissa when you found her? What was happening at that time? She felt in danger. She did. Mm -hmm. And as a female energy, what, would, what did you want to do for her? Protect her. Mm -hmm. Now let me ask you something. <clears throat> do you recall a time when you were alive in a body? Think back at your last life as a body. Do you recall how you died in that life? No. Mm. You've been around for a long time then. Where did you come from? Egypt. Egypt. Okay. What did you do in Egypt? Do you recall? Did you know Melissa in that lifetime? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Have you followed her? I've been with her. Uh -huh. Think back at the time of Egypt and tell me what it was that bonded both of you together. How did you know her in Egypt? <coughs> we worked together. You worked together. Were you male or female?
What does she say now? What kind of work did you do? That's good work. Mm -hmm. Any simple. Just simple works? Simple works. Mm -hmm. Do you recall your name in Egypt? How did you feel about um, Melissa in those days? What was your relationship with the soul? Were you related? No. Mm -hmm. I just liked her. You just liked her? Mm -hmm. I just liked her. So what I'm curious about is why is it that you have followed her into this lifetime? Why did you attach to her in that lifetime? I want you to think to the time when you lost your body in Egypt and tell me what happened. Fell off a boat and you drowned? Died. Mm -hmm. I think I died like in a boat. So after your you left your your body, did you find Melissa in, in Egypt? Did you follow her from Egypt into this life? I've been with her. Mm -hmm. What have you been doing with, with her? What is the purpose of you being with her? Did you actually want to help her or did you want her for yourself? When did you have family with her? Which lifetime? Yes, and her family. Mm -hmm. So by being with her, you feel like you have your own family? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Well, no name, that's not a way to have family. You're in spirit and she has a body. Do you realize that there's that that's not your family? You'll never be satisfied because you don't have a body. You're not the father. Isn't that what you long for? To be the father? Yes. Mm -hmm. But you'll never do it like this in spirit. You need to detach from her. You need to do it the way it's meant to be done, which is when you died in that accident and drowned, you should have gone to the light. And then from the light, you would have been healed of all your pain and sorrow. You would not have been judged. You could have met her when she passed and then come down together, both in physical form and created a family together. But you did not do that. That's not the proper way to evolve as a spirit. You took advantage of her. You've been using her. You've been attaching to her like a parasite, not like a lover or a husband or a father to her children. How does that make you feel, knowing that you really have not been able to succeed? She does have children, but these are not your children. You're not the father. And if you truly care about her, the proper way to do it is as a guide, a spiritual guide from the light. You're not in the light, no name. You're in the darkness. You need to be healed of your sorrow and then be able to help her and her family. Would you like to do it that way? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you realize that you would have a lot more power and influence from the light? Instead of hiding out in her hands? Did you have anybody who loved you? Recall when you were alive. Did you have family that loved you? My mom. Mm -hmm. When you want to see your mom again? Yes. Mm -hmm. She's been there a long time waiting for you. Would you like Melissa to forgive you for this, for your, what you've caused her? Yes. Okay, let me speak with Melissa. Melissa, have you been listening to what's been happening with this new name that's followed you all the way from Egypt? Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to let him go with love so that he can continue on his journey? What would you like to tell her? It's okay to let me go. Alright. Let me talk to No Name. No Name, did you hear what she said? Yes. How do you feel? She's ready to let you go. Are you ready to go? Be reunited with your family? Be in a life where there's only love and there's no judging and you'll be able to to find your skills and talents, learn new things so that you can come back as a guide to help this family? If that's your cho cho choice, are you ready to do that? Yeah. Okay. 
So no name. What would you like to call me now? Call. What would you like me to call you now? Starla. Starla. So Starla, what is it that you caused for Melissa all these years? Confusion. Mm -hmm. Why was that? She loved women. Mm -hmm. Love. Mm -hmm. She was confused about love? Yes. Mm -hmm. Was she confused about her sexuality? Yes. Mm -hmm. Starla, would you like to take that from her now? Take it all away. I want you to retrieve all of your influence and take it away from her. And Starla, I'm going to put my hand on your chest and I want you to give me all of that confusion that you had. Give it to me so it'll be healed. So that Melissa doesn't feel any of that anymore and neither do you. Tell me when it's all out of your system. Okay. Alright, I'm taking it and sending it up to the universe to be healed. Now Starla in that space, that emptiness, what would you like to fill it with? Let's fill it with reassurance. Mm -hmm. What else? Since you were so confused, would you like some clarity? Clarity, direction. Mm -hmm. Let's fill all that. What else? You're gonna fill it, fill it with love? You want to put wonder in there? Wonder. Beautiful. So Starla, are you ready to leave this three-dimensional world and go now into the beautiful light? Go back home? Yes. Okay. So I'm calling my rescue angels to come and circle you. Starla, tell me when you see them all around you, they're going to escort you up into the light. <coughs> so. Wonderful. So all of that that you retrieved from her body, I want you to pull it out by the roots, take it with you, and as you go up into the light, I want you to look for Archangel Michael, who should be there waiting for you, with his arm stretched out to reach you. Tell me when you see him. I see him. Mm -hmm. What's he telling you? Pull. Oh. Mm -hmm. So now from the light, Starla, <coughs> I want you to beam down some of that beautiful energy from Source. Beam it down into your hands in all of the areas where you were causing her confusion. Beam it into the rest of her body. Tell me when you're done. Wonderful. Now, Starla, would you take a look at her body and tell me if there's any other shadows that should not be there? Melissa's body should be bright white with no shadows. See if there's anything else in her body that needs attention today. Wonderful. Starla, may the light of the universe accompany you. Thank you very much for being here today. 
And now you could look for your mother. Can you see her? Yeah. Wonderful. Go give your mother an embrace and thank you for being here today. Good evening. Yesterday evening we were talking and as soon as I mentioned Todd, her body goes into a rage of heat. What caused that? Does she have any influence with him? Something that's triggered? with no name? Mm -hmm. Was he part of that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is his influence still connected to her? Or is that gone now? I think it's gone. Mm -hmm. Can you take a look and see if there's any other cords that she needs to cut from him so that she doesn't have confusion anymore? Oh. We're good? Mm -hmm. Does she need to know anything about Todd or past lives? Oh. No. Okay, so we can just um, understand that we don't need to bring him up anymore? Okay, so when Melissa thinks about Todd, she'll be now clear as to, her, to the true emotions for him? Without any confusion? Yes. Okay. Was, was this someone that she should have continued to be around? No. Okay. So can you show her an image of herself cutting those cords with him? Do a little ritual with her. She sees it. Wonderful. Thank you. She has a question about why she heard those voices in her head, one of them being, I love Todd. Was this no name? Or is that Todd? Putting those voices in there. Just no name. No name. Okay. What about Derek? Why did she need him? Do they have some karma together to work out? She has to learn to love. Um, is he teaching her that? Yes. Okay. So is this a good relationship for her? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Do you take a look into the future and see if he's still there? Or if 
there's somebody else that she'll be meeting in the future. She likes to be alone. She likes to be alone. Okay. But love. Mm -hmm. So she'll have people to love, but she'll still be on her own? Yeah. Okay, good, good. She tells me that she had two abortions. Where are these souls? Are they with her? They're there in the universe. Mm -hmm. Is there a possibility to speak with them? She would like to ask for forgiveness. May we connect with them today? Yes. Okay. I'm going to count from three to one, and when I get to one, we'll connect with the first one. Three, two, and one. Good evening. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Michael. Michael. Michael, were you with your mommy all the time? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about her aborting you? It's okay. It's okay? Did you know you were going to be aborted? It was tough. It was tough? Tell her about it. Were you part of that decision? Yes. Mm -hmm. Did you tell her it was okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you like to give your mommy a big hug? Yes. All right, let me help her. I'm going to take her arms and so she can give you a big hug. Go ahead and hug your mommy and tell her what you feel. Michael, Michael, tell your mommy what you were thinking. I love you. I'm here with you. It's okay. Okay, let me speak with Melissa. Melissa, what would you like to tell your baby, Michael? <sighs> Give him a big hug. Tell him everything you feel. I'm sorry. <sighs> I didn't want to do it. Everything you feel. I didn't want to hurt you. <sighs> I'm sorry. All right, let me speak with Michael. Michael, what do you have to say to, to your mommy? Continue to be with her? I'm always with her. Mm -hmm. Michael, do you plan to be in this life at all with her in the future? As a grandchild or anything like that? What are your plans? No, I don't. I'm just going to be with her. Okay. Tell her goodbye, Michael. Goodbye. All right.
go ahead and say goodbye to Michael. Three to one, and we're going to speak with the other baby. Three, two, and one. Good evening, baby. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Brandon. Brandon. Brandon, are you with your mommy? Mm -hmm. How do you feel, Brandon, about being aborted? I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Give your mom a big hug. She needs it. What would you like to tell her? Speak with Brandon. Brandon, what would you like to tell your mom? She says you, she would never forget you. Do you hear her? Are you Brandon? I like seven. Mm -hmm. And how old does Michael look to you? Almost the same age. Mm -hmm. Do you hang out together? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you know each other from past lives? No. No? Did you know your mom from past life? Selected her this time. She's pretty. Mm. I wanted a pretty mom. You still have a pretty mom. She's still your mom.
now that she's changing a little bit, Brandon, can you help her focus some more? So she can become successful and not get confused? Because I know how children are, they can make a mom pretty crazy. Can you help her out instead? Yes. Mm -hmm. Would you tell Michael the same thing? for being here today, Brandon. Both you and Michael, thank you. Let me have Melissa say goodbye to you. Melissa, get, say goodbye to you, Michael. Do you have Brandon and tell him what you do? Speak with Melissa's higher self, please. Thank you very much for allowing that tonight. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Would you tell Melissa what's stopping her from having success? from the, the influences that she had? Yes. Mm -hmm. How does she look now? Do you think she'll be okay now that we've got everything out of, out of the way? We've cleaned house? We're clearing up her mind. Wonderful. What are you using to do that? Is there any crystals in particular she should be working with? Clear quartz. Clear quartz. Wonderful. Rose quartz. Rose quartz. That's her stone? I'm sorry, I remember love. Okay. Tell me when you're done with that. her sister Mariette. Is she alive or is she dead? Well, can you distinguish that? Can we connect with her? Are you able to find her signal? I don't see anything. Okay. Alright. So we can't we can't find her tonight. She has a question about what's the deal with um, Who's running this wicked army? We're talking about hell. Is there a wicked army or are they just lost souls? Explain it to her in terms she would understand. They 
pieces. Put them in a dark place. This dark place being absence of light. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are they truly bad? understandable that's most people don't like to be told what to do isn't that part of free will on this planet yes mm -hmm. so what makes them get so rowdy She's had some pretty nasty things happen to her in her life. Why have all these things happened to her? from the family? Mother. Mm -hmm. Tell her more about that. Can we send some light into that family today? Yes. Can I call my team of archangels to help? Yes. Alright. So I'd like to call my team Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Uriel, and Metatron, my team. I'd like them to surround the family members, Melissa's family members, and look for all of those attachments and entities that are there influencing them. 
cut those cords. Call in the warrior angels of the light. Surround all of them. Don't allow them to escape. But take them to the light to be healed. Sever all of the cords that influence them and beam that light from the source onto that entire family so that they can be healed. Let me know what you see from your side. We continue to get healing from the source on the family as they sleep. Yes. Thank you. So that anyone who tries to influence them, there will be someone there shedding light so that they are not influenced. Yes. Thank you. Protect them in a, in a beautiful bubble of light, each one of them. Yes. Thank you. She says if she wants to know, uh, she wants to know if she hears voices of spirits. She hears all kinds of voices. Mm -hmm. Who are these voices? Are you one of them? Yes. Mm -hmm. How can this, she distinguish yours from the others? she'll be able to distinguish the good, the bad, and the ugly? Yes. Okay. What happened to her when she was three? She said she saw a uh, in the toilet a spider that turned red. What was that? The other side. Mm -hmm. The other dimension? Yes. Did she see some sort of portal open up? Describe it to her. It's like a door. Cracked open. Curious. She was curious? Yes. Mm -hmm. But it scared her quite a bit. Yes. Mm -hmm. She's terrified of spiders now. Mm -hmm. Can we take that away from her now? something there in her place so that she can associate a spider with something else. Maybe you could put some funny glasses on it or something so she can get a picture of a comical spider and laugh instead. A Buddha spider. A Buddha spider. That sounds great. Can she see it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is it making her laugh? Yes. Okay. Good. Is she a walk-in? She's had many suicide episodes.
So is this the same soul that she came in with, or is there a new one? It's not a, a walk-in then. It was just a, an adjustment in frequency. She needed adjustment. Okay, good. When she tried to commit suicide, was this an influence of someone else? Yes. Who was that? all of these voices and dreams and visions that she has. Is she psychic? She's waking up. She is. Mm -hmm. Slowly. Slowly. Would you take a look at her pineal gland and tell me what it looks like? Is it okay or does she need more clearing there? start with that tonight? Yes. Alright. Do you recommend anything that she can do to help? Healing crystals. Mm -hmm. Meditate. Mm -hmm. Helps. She's been trying. What should she be doing with these crystals? Does she have to place it on her eye? Yes. Okay. And while she meditates then? Yes. Is there any particular size or anything? Does it matter? Hold it with three fingers. With three fingers. Okay. Does this crystal need to be programmed ahead of time? Charged in salt water? Or how? The sun. The sun? Okay. Gives energy. She needs energy. What about the moon? Does that also help? I've heard there's lots of energy from the moon. The moon gives her, gives her energy too. Mm -hmm. She loves the moon. So she should spend time in the moonlight too? to know if she um, saw a UFO with Una. contact with them? They talk to her. They do. Where are they from? Serious. Serious? Mm -hmm. Does she have any connection with them? Okay, so you showed her that? Just for a minute. Okay. But she says she had she she lost time of driving. Did you guys beam her aboard at all? Can't say. Mm, okay. 
Okay. She says she gets up all the time, or she used to get up and see 333 all the time. What's the message there with the 333? So is she connected with you? She wants to learn. Mm -hmm. Is she learning? Yes. Okay. Wonderful. But you kind of, you recommend that by meditating she'll learn more. That's that's how we connect. Okay. What about her dreams? She's had some pretty wild dreams where she flies and is able to practically control where she goes. She's also had some sleep paralysis. Would you tell her about that? She travels in her sleep. Mm -hmm. Where does she go? She's everywhere. Mm. She just loves to travel. Does she have a specific job? Or is she just traveling? She's helping. She is. She helps. Who does she help? Do you recommend she keep doing that? She doesn't know she does it. Mm. She, she questions her dreams. Okay. Only when she asks specific questions. Before she sleeps, she gets the answers. Okay, so what would you recommend for her? Focus, meditate. And now that we have no name out of the way and the others, you think she'll be able to focus a lot more? Yeah. Okay, terrific. Did she help that dog heal that one time? When it was hit by a car? Did she do it, or was there some divine intervention there? Angels. Angels. Mm -hmm. Was that what the praying brought them? Yes, she asked for help. Okay, so that was proof that when she prays, angels help. Does she have any healing in her own hands? She does. Mm -hmm. Should she continue to, to work on that? She needs to be confident. Okay. So after she's confident, then she could use her hands for healing? Yes. Okay. Terrific. Uh, did she, one of the things that we think I asked before is about the, the one of the UFOs from Sirius. Is she from Sirius also? She wanted to know what planet she was from. Does she have a name there? Yeah. 
you spell it? It's weird. It sounds like like leaky, but not like it's spelled. Mm-hmm. It sounds like leaky. Yeah. Is she female or male? From Andromeda. Female. Female. Mm-hmm. Does she communicate with her friends from Andromeda? Sleep. Okay, terrific. How is uh, Gypsy and Rolo? Good. They're good. Is she able to connect connect with them today? Or would you be able to say anything on their behalf? Yeah. She feels bad that Rolo got killed by a fox. Is he with her? Okay. They talk. Mm -hmm. They understand each other. So she's already been in communication with Gypsy? They talk telepathic, but she doesn't believe it. Ah, okay. So you're telling her that she already has been communicating with Gypsy? She communicates with people what she wants. Mm -hmm. How can she increase that ability? on this path has spent quite a bit of time questioning. What would you like to tell her about that? Two angels for her. Her little man. Mm. <laughs> Wonderful. 
Melissa says she didn't have any closure with her dad, Joe. Has Joe gone to the light? Or is he still here? She went to the light. Mm -hmm. Would be able to communicate with, with Joe today? So she can have some closure? Would you allow, would the light allow to connect with you? Can I call Joe, Joe Forth? What would that mean that you can't see him? Is it that he's busy doing something else? He's had her peace. He's had his peace with her. Okay, tell her. Tell her that. In the dreams. Mm -hmm. She doesn't remember all of them. There's peace, there is. So she does, she's already had closure with him. She's got to accept it. Mm -hmm. She asked if she can speak with Jesus and Mary Magdalene. Would we be able to connect with Jesus today? It's nice to have him in my sessions. Would the light permit me to speak with Jesus today? Would you allow me to call him in? Yes. Thank you. So I'd like to connect with Jesus, the one that was known as Jesus, the Ascended Master, to see if he has some words for Melissa here today. I'm going to count from five to one, and I'd like to allow Melissa to express herself as Jesus. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good evening, Jesus.
always a pleasure to have Jesus here in my sessions. What would you like to tell Melissa today? Trust. Trust. Mm -hmm. Could you express a little bit more? what that means. She doesn't trust. She doesn't trust? What is it that she's not trusting? She doesn't trust in you? In herself? <coughs> Can you tell her to change that? Trust in me. Mm -hmm. Trust in you. Trust in me. Now, by what she's been telling me, she does pray to you a lot. Is that true? But she questions it. Mm. So she prays, but she may not believe that she, you're really listening to her? Yes. Mm -hmm. What would you like to tell her? How do we get her to change her mind? Trust in her heart. How do you feel Melissa's doing now that she's had this session? How do you see her now from with your eyes? She's crawling. Mm -hmm. She's like a baby crawling. Mm -hmm. She has to believe in herself. So are you saying she hasn't even taken her baby steps yet? Do you help her? I do. Mm -hmm. How do you help her so that she knows? I touch her right shoulder. Mm -hmm. Make her feel love. Can you touch her now so that she feels it? Believing it? Uh, she feels it. Mm. Wonderful. So we're making some progress. Yes. What message would you like to leave for her today? This is being recorded and she's going to really enjoy listening to you. Tell her something. What would you like? for her to know. She heard it. Be still. Mm -hmm. Meditate. Connect. Connect. Connect with love. Mm -hmm.
She's strong. Mm -hmm. She's a survivor. She doesn't believe it. <laughs> she thinks she has to keep going the more. I don't want her to. Can you take some of those obstacles from her? Would you bathe her in that beautiful light of yours? She's almost swimming in it. She's swimming in it? Beautiful. Are we complete with you today, Jesus? Yes, thank you. Before you go, I know she's not going to mind this. Do you have anything to say to me today? Is there a, a way that we could speak with Mary Magdalene today? Could we connect with her? Will the light allow me to speak with Mary my Magdalene? Or has Jesus pretty much told her everything? Is this Mary? Hello, Mary. What would you like to tell Melissa today? She wants to help others. Is she on the right path? She is. Mm -hmm. Do you help her at all, Mary? Yes. Mm -hmm. Does she pray to you? Yes, she thinks of me often. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about her? Magnificent soul. She's doing work. She's doing work for the people. But they don't listen. Mm -hmm. Praise to me for 
misunderstood throughout all of life and history. You went through a lot of obstacles yourself, accused of things you didn't do. What would you like to tell Melissa since she's been through a lot herself? Jesus be able to continue to heal her family. Yes. Okay. And you were saying to love. To love. Mm -hmm. Love family. We're all family. Mm -hmm. She tries. Is there a final message that you have for her or for me? Or for anybody else? I'd like to thank Jesus and Mary for being here today. And I'd like to speak with the higher self again. Okay. Hi, would you do a body scan on her to see how she's doing physically? adjusting today? Any chakras? Any muscles? Bones? Organs? Her knees. Her knees. What's going on with her knees? This pain that she's getting is because she's not moving forward in her life? Yeah, she struggles. Mm -hmm. So is that her, your way of communicating with her? Gets her attention. Mm -hmm. Does she really need that pain now that she's had this session? And you've been able to tell it to her in your own words. Would you remove that pain from her? I did. Okay. Is there any healing that needs to be done there in her knees? Yeah. Okay. Would you do that for her and repair anything that needs to be repaired there? I know when she does yoga, she wants to be able to be able to do all of it without any pain. And just so that she knows, what, what are you using to heal it? Light. Mm -hmm. 
Any particular color? White. White line. Okay. Let me know when you're done and I can continue. Is there anything else that you found in her body that needs repair? She wants to be healthy. I think she might be okay. She might be okay. Okay. She keeps meditating to me. She'll be okay. She tells me she wants to quit smoking. <laughs> you know, I could use hypno some clinical hypnotherapy techniques on her, but I would like to rely on the higher self to take care of that today. Would you be able to remove those cravings for cigarettes from her? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about alcohol? We were discussing how alcohol can affect her spiritually. Would you tell her a little bit about that? Would you take away some of those cravings too, or all of the cravings for alcohol? So that it doesn't affect her mind anymore. It was, it was passed down. It was passed down. Can we clean, clean up some of that DNA? Yeah, she doesn't really crave it like that though. Okay. She uses it. She doesn't need it anymore. Okay. Wonderful. What about her sinuses? She was telling me that she had some, some issues with her sinuses. So I was blowing her nose. What's going on there? She's got broken bones. What is it? Broken bones. Small Broke. bones. Broke. Small bones that are broken. Is that what's causing the sinus issues? Okay, now I know that the higher self can heal anything in the body. Would you go in there and adjust her bones so that she doesn't have these issues anymore? Yes. Thank you. And would you continue working on her at night so that everything is back into its place? So her sinuses would be cleared up. Yes. Thank you. She wants to handle her emotions better. Do you uh, feel that she has been able to heal that from that now? Or will you work on her to continue with that? I'll help her. Okay, terrific. Would you like to give her a little sign that she can use that when she's stressed, she can connect with you easier? What can, what can she do that will relax her? Mm. Meditation is her key. Okay, so she needs to meditate. She says she wants to love herself and forgive all who she's hurt and caused pain. Do you think she's ready for that now? That forgiveness? Can you remove that or should I remove that? She's been working a little. Wonderful. Okay, so would you continue working on her with that? Yes. All right. Do you have a message to to her or to humanity in closing? Love is a 
Focus on distractions. Distractions are confusions. They're, they confuse. She. She have the light. The light shines in her. Wonderful. Is there a message you would like to tell anyone else? very much. Nine ten, wide awake, wide awake, feeling wonderful all over. Welcome back, Melissa. You did an excellent job. How do you feel? Yes. You look happy. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> How does your body feel? How does your mind feel? I feel like something definitely happened. Mm -hmm. um, when you had brought up the uh, Todd thing, uh, the way you did it uh -huh. this time, yeah, <clears throat> I um, I felt like just a little tiny heat, mm -hmm. but that was it. Mm -hmm. And then when um. Somebody else that we talked about. I felt like heat again. It was mm -hmm. like closer to the end. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what it was, but um, I felt that heat again. But it was it was different. It wasn't. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like yesterday. Yeah, yes, yesterday I felt like I was stuck. Like the heat came on 100 degrees, mm -hmm. but it's it's almost like um. What about Jesus? Did, did you feel his him on your shoulder? I Just felt him? I felt something. Uh huh. It was like I felt like a hand cupping my shoulder. Uh huh. You had a beautiful experience. Oh, you let you I finally let yourself go. How long do you think you were on this journey? Maybe two hours. Mm -hmm. Two hours and about seventeen minutes. <laughs> wow. Fifteen minutes. Did you feel like you were hypnotized? How did you feel today compared to yesterday? Yesterday, yesterday had more voices. Today, mm -hmm. they sh that shut up mm -hmm. until almost like at the end, right as you were saying we're gonna come. At the, mm -hmm. <laughs> then it just started popping up. It was up here. <laughs> it was, t and I'm like, I'm like, shut up, like go away. <laughs> I'm not done. And it, it just like, it was almost like, okay, it's time for me to come back now. You know, like it was just starting <laughs> that questioning. And I'm like, just, I'm not done. Just, just you hold on over there. Mm -hmm. So that was, that was interesting. Like it was silent, you know, like uh -huh. I didn't have that. Chatter. Yeah. And then like, you know, it'd be blank and then I'd get something and 
you know, I would just try to keep letting it out, mm -hmm. you know, and... You did a magnificent job. That was so... My goodness, I'm crying again. Yeah, you did really, <laughs> really, really well. Really, really <sighs> well. So, let me... I can't believe how late it is. Well, not as late as yesterday. Did, did you turn the times back? You know, they changed okay. yesterday. Yeah, I think I didn't that was know correct. That. Okay, I'm just checking. <laughs> All right, so let me, let me do this over here. So experience with Melissa and uh, it is March 13, 2016. Thank you for watching. <laughs> <laughs>